Then as we were about to leave, a quieter man who walked with a cane, he, his room was in the basement, he'd eaten his meal down there, he came up the steps slowly with the cane. And he slowly made it into the kitchen where Anne and I were starting to clean up and pack things up. And he approached us. And he handed each of us a small stone in a silver setting. Anne immediately responded, oh, please, you don't need to give this to me. But he went on to say that his hobby was making jewelry. He brought out what looked like a, a, a big chunk of beat up stone out of his pocket. It was the size of his palm. And he looked at us and he said, see this? I cut a piece out of it, I smoothed it, I polished it, and now it looks like this, smooth, shiny. And he pointed to the stones that he'd given us. He'd spent his free hours slowly smoothing and polishing that stone with his hand tools in his room in this house. It was something that gave him joy, gave him purpose. And I sensed what it meant to him, what it represented to him. His experiences, too, had transformed him and smoothed him and shaped him. And it pointed to something beautiful, something beautiful that he could share with us. Human dignity means that we don't just want to receive things, we also want to give. We had given him a meal, and he gave us a piece of his work, a piece of himself. I went home that day humbled. I think I went home that day a little bit different than before, more open than before. God met me in this man's gift. It pointed me to take a look at my own transformation. It was a reminder to me to keep letting God work at my rough edges and to be ever more and more aware of the common humanity we all share. To be ever more and more aware of the love that cuts through awkwardness or fear or nervousness. The love that's our source and our destination and the reason we're here. All the time there are things that can distract us or can separate us from that love. And the Advent call of John the Baptist is a continual call to turn back toward it, to repent, to be changed day by day over years and years and years, to trust God in that smoothing process. 